Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to install Google Chrome, create a Google account, set Google as your home page. We'll go over the bookmarks bar, we'll go through the internet options and I'll show you how to configure that and how to delete your browsing history. It's all about Google today. I'm starting the video as if you're on YouTube right now watching this video and I'm going to show you a couple ways you can do this. First you can click new tab and then click the home button and then when the home page appears you can type in Google Chrome in the search bar and hit search or you can open another browser and click in Google or type in Google Chrome from here and I just wanted to show you that this would be the browser that would have your uh, the video playing in the background so you could toggle back and forth if you needed to and we'll open this up okay so now let's type in Google Chrome click on the download Google Chrome link click on the download Google Chrome button I'm gonna leave set Google Chrome as my default browser checked I'm gonna leave this box unchecked and what this one is is it's to send usage statistics and crash reports to Google you could check that if you like I don't I'm going to hit it, accept and install. It's going to be begin downloading and installing. And while it's doing that, I just wanted to remind you guys if you have any questions, don't feel free to ask. And then uh, if you have anything that you want me to make a video on to show you how to do, feel free to ask and I'll see what I can do. Okay, then while this is finishing installing, I'm going to pause it so you don't have to sit and watch the green bar go across the screen. Okay, when the user account control box opens, go ahead and click continue. You can see the Google Chrome icons already in the quick launch bar here, and there's an icon on the desktop that you can't see right now. We're going to go here to the right and click on the wrench. We're going to go down to the bottom and click on options. Okay, in the basics window, we're going to leave open the home page checked. In the home page section, we're going to leave open this page checked, and we want that page to be www.google.com, and that'll set Google as your home page. In the toolbar section, we're going to check show home button and always show the bookmarks bar. In the search section, we're going to check enable instance for faster searching. Click OK. For the default browser, it already says the default browser is currently Google Chrome, so we don't need to do anything with that. We're going to go to personal stuff. Here's where you could either sign into your Google Chrome account or create your account. We'll be coming back to that in a little bit. In the user section, you could add a new user to your Google account. Uh, I don't need to do this, so I'm not going to bother with it. In the password section, I leave the offer to save passwords checked. You can do whatever you want. The reason why I do this is because it's a good defense against keyloggers. They can't record what you don't type. So if you have Google automatically filling your passwords, you're never typing your password. And that's the same with the autofill. I leave that one checked. I don't really fill out any web forms, but if I did, I would rather have Google automatically fill them out than me type out the information. In the browsing data section here, you can import data from another browser such as your uh, your favorites and all of that. Uh, I'm on a fresh install here, haven't really done anything with Internet Explorer or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave this blank or leave this alone. In the theme section, you can go out and search for different themes for your account page. I'm just going to leave that alone also. We're going to go under the hood. In the privacy section, we're going to go to content settings. In the cookie section, I always check block third-party cookies and I also check clear cookies when I close my browser. I leave defaults all the way down the rest of the page. I just want to show you down here in location and, no and notification. In the location you have three options. Allow all sites to track my physical location. Ask me when a site tries to track my physical location or do not allow any site to track my physical location. I always leave it at the default, the recommended uh, you know that's that's up to you and that's the same with the notifications you can either allow 
sites to show desktop notifications. You could uh, have Google ask when a site wants to show a notification, or you can not allow them at all. And again, I just leave that at the default, the recommended setting. I've never had any problems with this, so I don't really worry about it. We're going to leave the extensions alone. We're going to scroll back up to the top of the page. Click on the X here on the right. And now we're going to click on Clear Browsing Data. When the Clear Browsing Data window opens, I'm going to leave all of these checked except for the bottom two. And that's because I've already uh, configured Google to ask me to save my passwords in autofill form data. So I'm going to leave those unchecked. In the drop down box here, you can choose the past hour, past day, week, month, or the beginning of time. I always choose the beginning of time. That way I don't have to worry about how far my browsing history or cookies are going back. It just deletes them all. And then click Clear Browsing Data. And that's going to clear everything out for you. Okay, now that that's finished, we'll go to personal stuff. We'll click on the sign in to Chrome button. When the sign in with your Google account uh, window opens, we're going to come down here and we're going to click on create a Google account. Okay, so now we have to put our email address in. And then we have to create a password for our account. It has to be eight characters in length or else uh, it won't be accepted. have to re-enter the password for confirmation. I'm going to leave the stay signed in box checked and the enable web history checked. I'm going to scroll down. You need to choose your location in the drop box here. For your birthday, make sure that when you put your year in, that you put all four numbers or else it won't accept it. Down here we have to type in what we see here in these blue letters right here. Luckily these aren't so bad. Some of these can be just horrible. Okay, and that's for security purposes. In the terms of service, you can read this if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the I accept and create my account. When uh, the account creation confirmation window opens, it's going to tell you that it's Google sent you an email and you need to go to your email account, open that email and confirm that you created, you, uh, created your Google account. And then after that you're set to go on Google Chrome. Um, up here at the top you can see where it's already asking me to save my password or never for this site. I'm going to choose never for this site on this one because this isn't actually my real email. So I don't need to save the password for it of course. So I'm going to never this site. Now I'm going to start closing out all these windows just to get rid of them here. Okay so now I'll show you the uh, bookmarks bar real quick here. What you want to do is that when you're on a website and you like the website and you want to save it, uh, I'll show you an example here. I'll go to CNET, Downloads. Okay, and then once the page opens up, I'm going to go up here to the star on the right here. Click on that, and you can see the folder is the bookmarks bar. You have three options. You can choose other bookmarks or choose another folder to put your bookmark into. Um, I'm going to leave it at bookmarks bar. In the name, you guys don't have to do this, but this is just something I like to do. I delete the name. And then hit enter. And then uh, if you delete the name, all you get is the icon here. Instead of it saying download.cnet.com all the way down the bar here. It's just a nice little icon up here. And once you get three or four of them, it looks really nice. And you, you save a lot of space by deleting the name. Okay, so now that's your favorites bar. Or excuse me, your bookmarks bar. And I believe that pretty much covered it all. I hope you guys learned something. Any questions, really feel free to ask. And uh, have a nice day, guys.